Well, greetings, people of the internet. Unky Joe here. Unky Joe's Playhouse. Today, we're going to talk about a new hero of mine called Hero. Yeah, my hero called Eero. Yeah, if you haven't heard of it, Eero is, it's actually an Amazon company is my understanding. And they make a mesh wireless system. Well, let me, let me begin at the beginning. I had a client of mine who has used a uh, AirStation, Apple AirStation Pro or whatever the hell it was. I installed this thing about six years ago, seven years ago. Airport Extreme, thank you. You know, the Airport Extreme has everything built into it. It has the Wi-Fi router, it has Wi-Fi, it, it's got mesh networking built into it, and it has a, a hard drive in it that allows you to back up using Time Machine. Well, the, the unit is failing on this client. Uh, it's got a bad, it's chronic bad power supply that those uh, Airport Extremes seem to suffer from. And, uh, I got him a new solution for doing a backup, which is an external SSD. It's simple, easy peasy, plugs it in, he backs it up, he's done. Because he really only has his laptop, and I think uh, his his daughter has a laptop. Anyway, so the, the big deal with, with this guy is getting wireless set up that is reliable in his home. So I went out on the search and, and said, what could I use? What... What would it, would be best for this environment? Now, typically I would use Unify, Ubiquiti Unify equipment, but this guy is not a fan of saucers hanging on his wall, and there's really nowhere to mount them on the ceiling. So I really wanted a solution that is kind of really nice looking. It's appealing to the eye, that kind of thing. It's easy to set up, and I could just set it and forget it. So that's when I came across the Eero uh, Wi-Fi system. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's double E-R-O, and there it is. So this this unit is their older unit. And when I started looking at this, it was $199.95, something like that. Um, and by the time I placed it in the cart to order it, it was down to 169 and you know it claims to cover up to 5,000 square feet so um, you'll see the packaging on this here in a minute it's 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 got an Apple s kind of packaging it's really nice the way they've laid it out and there are a couple of modes you can run this in you can run there's three devices in here and all three of the devices are the same okay uh, they're there it comes with three of the Eros, three of the power adapters uh, and an Ethernet cord. So one of these units you assign as your master unit is, as you would say, and that can be your gateway. It could, it can be serve as your router. In fact, that's the way it's designed to be set up. But it, for my purposes, I wanted to put the unit in bridge mode, which is what I did. So you just you plug it in. Um, you plug your first unit in. You get on your phone, and I'm a uh, not a huge fan of setting up any devices on the phone, but they do not have an app that runs on the computer. So you're gonna need a tablet that's already got internet access or your phone with wireless internet access through your provider. You just go through there, you load the software and it goes out and it finds the first Eero and it runs you through the setup. It's very simple. Um, I t uh, mine was a little more complicated because I did not want this to be my gateway onto the internet, but even in spite of not wanting it to be the gateway, it made itself the gateway for the wireless. And then I went in later and changed it into bridge mode. And then I set that unit here in my in my uh, studio. And then I went out uh, into the house and I went to the center portion of the house or the living room. And I set up another unit next to my place on the sofa where I watch TV at night and spend time with my spouse. And then at the other end, of the far end of the house in my master bedroom, I put another one of these devices. And through, through each one, putting it in there, I went back into the Eero app on the phone. It recognized it. It flashes a blue light, meaning it's pairing. It came up on the Eero app. I was able to tell it, hey, this is a living room. 
and, da, 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 and it tested it and said, hey, this is a great location. We got really great wireless, go ahead and put it here. And then the same thing with my master bedroom. And then I did something that I normally don't do, and I put all my Roku's on wireless. Right now they're they're hardwired. You know how I feel about wireless. I'm not a big fan of it. But I put all my Roku's on wireless, all my tablets and all my phones to use this Eero network. I set up a separate dedicated network and I turned off my Unify network here in the office. And uh, I ran it for two weeks and I had that many problems. I mean, it was that simple. It was dead simple. Uh, the coverage was fantastic. I only have a 100 by 100 megabyte connection. Uh, I do have the possibility to have gigabit, but I'm cheap and I only pay for 100 by 100. Uh, every time I did a speed test, no matter what, I could be in the laundry room at the far end of the house. I could be in my bathroom here in the studio. I could be all the way down the other end of the house. No matter what, I was getting 100 meg by 100 meg up and down and about six milliseconds of ping time. Excellent coverage. I never had a single problem with any of my Roku's streaming from MB or Plex or Hulu or YouTube or anything. Never had a problem with any of my tablets, nor did I have any problems with my cell phones dropping a wireless connection ever. It's probably the best wireless I've ever had in this home ever. Take that for what it's worth. Now, do I mean to say it's better than Unify and it's better than TP-Link and it's... No, I'm just saying it's dead simple to set up. I mean, I could probably put this in the hands of my brother or my sister uh, and with a little guidance over the phone, they could probably set this unit up without any input from me at all. And it would run, I feel, reliably and give them great internet coverage or wireless coverage in their home to the point where I would even say they could run their... Roku's or uh, uh, Fire Sticks or whatever over wireless and pro probably have a pretty darn good results. Now, there's only the two of us in the house and we really didn't, you know, well, well we did kind of saturate it because the Roku's, even in my uh, TV in the back, I have a TCL TV in my, in my master bedroom and I put that on wireless and streamed, because uh, it's got the Roku built in and streamed it over that as well. And again, never had any issues. So it's a set it and forget it kind of thing. Now, the other thing I liked is when, you know, because I'm testing this, I don't own this. I don't want it registered to me. I was able to go simply through the phone app and go unregister all the devices and reset them to factory defaults with a, with a press of a uh, virtual button on my phone. And then I uh, simply canceled my Eero account. And now I can transfer these over to the new owner because... I'm going to need to use their phone to set it up at their location. So again, not a big advocate of things you have to set up over your phone or tablet. But in this case, I was actually pleasantly surprised. I can't, I can't find a single fault with this device. So take that for what it's worth. As you see, I, you know, I placed it strategically around the house, had good results with it. Now your, your mileage might vary, but for 169 bucks, set it and forget it wireless. I'm on board with that. And no, they did not sponsor this video. This video doesn't have a sponsor except for you. So there you go, people of the internet. We hope you found the video entertaining and informative as always. Please give us a thumbs up down below if you liked the video. Leave your comments down in the comments section. Subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber and hit that notification bell to be notified of any new video that comes out, donate if you're so inclined, PayPal, Patreon, and the YouTube join function for $2 a month, set it and forget it. You don't have to think about it anymore. You go, it goes a long way to help supporting this channel and our endeavors in the future. So please come back and see us again. And don't forget, we'll see all of you on the other side.